The new automation update is live, and this tutorial video presents all the new devices. What you are looking at is a control center that can be built inside a draw ship, giving players completely new possibilities. We have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it by talking about controllers. They function as a module remote control to all modules installed on the draw ship. A controller can access only one group of modules. In this case, we have one for production and one for power plants. By pulling the levers, you can increase or decrease the number of open modules. Open all at once or use the red valve to close them all. Most of the new devices coming in this update have many variations, so keep scrolling the mouse wheel to see all the available options. There's also a shutdown controller, allowing you to close all opened modules by turning one valve. Ideal when you are low on power and need to generate some, or for setting up a custom module layout. Talking of layouts, this custom controller allows you to set up your own module setups. Ideal for making defense layouts that can be quickly activated when Drawship is under attack. To make a layout, open the modules you want, click the safety and quickly pull the save lever. You can also set up an icon for better purpose recognition. From now on, whenever you pull the load lever, the drawship will reset all modules based on your setup. Before moving to next devices, let's talk about the mount options on the walls. This new way of object placement saves a huge amount of space and even allows placement into areas that were not used before, such as corridors or exterior of the drawship. Before you place an object on the ground, try to mount it on a slot and see what options are available. Drawship is equipped with mount slots of different types and sizes, small, medium and large. Small can hold lights, displays and some panels, while medium slots can hold almost any device. Large slots are the only place where the biggest devices can be installed. Another new device are the panels showing you performance of the Drawship systems in real time. Here's a simplified example to explain how to read the panels. Power and research panels show info only for the specific group, while core shows overall values of the entire Drawship. To read the dials, imagine the half circle is 100% where green, yellow and red defines distribution within the range. Red and yellow indicates consumption, where red is the module group shown on the panel and yellow is everything else that is opened. This way you can see that the modules occupy 80% of the core slots, but almost 50% is taken by the research. The second we turn the red valve for research, the dials will update with new values. Similar to controllers, each panel column is dedicated to a module group, tracking power, core points and amount of modules. By looking at the panels, you can tell which modules drain drawship systems the most and need to be adjusted. Panels are available in many different sizes, so the combination and amount of displayed stats is up to the player. In order to know when is the right time to activate a production line, you have access to item displays. Always have them installed all over the drawship to keep track of important items in your online storage. To set items for tracking, click the red button and choose items to display. Green icon indicates the item is assigned for a production in a station and you should see the number increase when specific production line is activated. That's all for devices helping you with the system control. Now let's move to devices doing the item production. Hub stations are an advanced device with several modes defining the way items are produced. Set up up to 6 items per hub station that will be tracked and station will automatically react based on the set mode. Choose between the modes to find the best setup for item production flow. An example would be a grenade always ready in the online storage. Make sure to set up the refinery and production hubs to ensure the line has everything it needs.
The second you take the grenade, the hubs will automatically produce items to make a new one. From now on, lights are not a default part of the dropship. With this update, all lights became an actual object. Players can decide placement of lights and even leave some areas in dark. This applies both for interior and exterior. Placing light above the door can help with navigation inside caves or right after volcano erupted and dust is everywhere making it hard to see. Now we can move on to devices that were in the game already and got some upgrade. The up-down levers can now be mounted and be where you need them when you need them. Chests got large upgrade as well. They now come in different colors and shapes. You can choose between tall, low or mounted chest that can be combined with other devices. Next to that, you can set icon that best represents the items stored inside. When talking inventories, you now have access to online storage point that can be placed anywhere on the ship. To make destruction of enemy drawships easier, several new tools have been added. First is the explosive, that can be used to destroy tough modules or to disable a drawship. By default it comes with a timer, set by right mouse button, but you can trigger it by a shot or get a detonator to trigger it over distance. Hacking tool is used for force open or close modules on enemy drawships. You can close an enemy turret from inside or open a module to decrease its armor and take it out easier. In general, both devices should make raiding of enemy drawships more interesting. The photo mode allows you to create nice screenshots from any possible angle. Enter the mode by pressing F11 and check all the available options. Click the center of the screen to activate free camera and start taking screenshots of everything you like. A very interesting feature is stepping combined with game speed. You can use it to capture very complex scenes by pausing the time and playing the game frame by frame. This way you can get some very interesting screenshots that would be otherwise very hard to get. The list of new features doesn't end here, but since we wanted to cover only the most important stuff, we are going to stop. For more info, please check the announcement and attach changelog that lists everything added with this automation update. Hope you will enjoy all the new additions. We can't wait to see all the awesome drawships you will come up with. Have a great time and thank you for watching.